What is up anglers? I am out here in West Bay today and if you can see this water it is glass. I mean there's barely a ripple. Um, I'm already seeing bait moving, stuff popping so I'm tying on my top waters today. I'm gonna tie on this bone colored super spook and work that top water. My favorite one, get a lot of hits on that one. Um, and I'm gonna, I got two rods, some other one, I got my tandem rig and I'm gonna have my dirty bay shrimp down south, chicken of the sea. Uh, did real good with those la last time. Um, if I don't get no hits on those, I'll switch colors and uh, switch it up and see what they're hitting. The thing I like about the tandem rig is that I am able to use two different colors and I get to see what they're hitting. If they're hitting the darker color, I'll throw two darker colors on there. So anyway, um, no wind today low tide was at six i mean high tide was at six low tide until two three five o'clock this afternoon so it's falling tide all day so that's going to be good uh water's moving bait are gonna bait's gonna be moving fish are gonna be chasing the bait so that being said um i'm fishing these uh see right there i'm gonna be fishing all these coves all these grass lines um, there's some deep pockets back here that the flounder and stuff like to uh, hide in. I'm going to look for them. And uh, we're going to see what happens, man. So uh, come with me and let's see what we can catch today. Tie lines, God bless, guys. Got him. Got him. Oh, man. Ah. Saw a splash over there and I threw it right on top of it. Man, I had the camera facing the wrong way. Let's see what I got here. It's gonna be a redfish. Gotta be a red. Early this morning. Ah, I knew it. I saw him. Let's see what I look, what I got. Oh, yeah. Man, you missed that one too. Let's see what I got. Oh! Oh! <laughs> nice! <laughs> On the dirty bay. <laughs> On the dirty bay shrimp, my guys. On the dirty bay shrimp. I've been killing it with this dirty bay shrimp lately, man. This. I added that to my tandem rig a couple days ago. Oh. <laughs> nice. 
he looks like a perfect slot too. You don't get much more perfect than that guys. 20 and a half. That is a perfect eating redfish right there. Got him, got him, got that top water. I knew there was something inside there. I think, I think that's a trout. Yep, nice trout on top water. Hopefully it's a keeper. And I just need, dang, yeah, I think it's a keeper. No, he dang sure ain't a fighter, I can tell you that. <laughs> oh, look at that. That bone super spook, man. Look at that. All right, guys, we're gonna watch this guy here. All right, see you later, buddy. He slimed me. Got him. Oh. There is trout in this little cut right here. I've already picked up one. Got him. Got him. Woo -hoo. That's a good one. Now that is a good one. Yes. Oh man, that may be, a, if that's a, a big trout or it's a redfish, that's a nice one. Right on. Where you got? I still couldn't tell what it was. Ooh, that's a nice trout. We're gonna get the net for this guy. We don't wanna lose him, he's a keeper. Eh, who needs a net? Who needs a net when you got boga? Happy. Look at this guy. Man, I love this bone super spook, man. All right, moving on, moving on this last cast. <laughs> Look at there. That last cast always gets you. <laughs> that's why you last cast it, buddy. Oh, that's why we always give it a last cast. He's too little. No, he's too small. I ain't even gonna measure him. Life is good, guys. That was a flounder in there feeding on them. Uh... All right. Oh, that was a flounder in there. There's a redfish and a flounder. Can anybody say Texas slam? Can anybody say Texas slam? So look at all that disturbance right there. There is a school of fender mullet right there. And I already saw a redfish run out of there. And, uh, I've been working this top water. 
that's a perfect place for a flounder. Current running in through there, perfect place for redfish, whatever. When they're chasing bait like that. And uh, I don't know about you guys. All right, come here. There you go. Okay, man, that dang, that uh, that dirty boy shrimp, man, dirty bay shrimp, man, that dirty bay shrimp has been killing it. So they changed the regulations on the flounder from 14 to 15, and this bad boy is. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Uh, well, say goodbye to that guy. They changed the regulations in September. See, they're still fishing there, and we're going to go get them. Kills my soul that this flounder go, but... Oh, I should leave that in there. But legal is legal. See that? See that? That is... Mm -hmm. That is what I'm about to go get. Later, dude. See you later. What is up anglers? Hope you enjoyed the video I just did. Man, that dirty bay fishing shrimp and bone colored super spook was on fire. Now I've been trying that dirty bay shrimp to see its effects. And reds and flounder have been eating that thing up. So if you notice the movement on that first grass line, that was reds. That's a good sign for them. And you can usually see their tails and their backs, so keep that in mind. The cut I killed them trout on with the topwater is another good place to target fish. You have current flowing through and bait all around. That was a perfect type of spot to investigate and find fish. And the spot I found the flounder is a great spot. I could hear the mullet busting and the fish chasing up the way, and as I came up to it, remember those places, those kinds of signs and sounds while you're out there, and you will find fish. Alright anglers, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, and then hit that bell for alerts. And go check out our Facebook page and our Instagram pages, you'll like them. I hope to see you guys on the water, tight lines, and God bless. All right, everybody, thanks a lot for watching this video, and I really appreciate your support.